What's up guys, so today I'm working on my uh, 04 Camry again. We're going to be doing a um, power steering fluid flush. Um, there's a leak and I'm pretty sure it's coming from the hoses. Uh, so what I'll be doing is taking the hoses off and um, inspecting them and making sure there's no cracks in them. I bought more clamps, or different clamps, to, uh, to tighten them down to see if that stops the leaking. Hopefully that stops the leaking and uh, let's get into it. So I located this power steering fluid. As you can see, it's extremely dark. It almost looks like the uh, engine oil. It should not be like that. And here you can see the leak, or uh, where it might be leaking. It's dirty. So I got a uh, Dextron uh, 6. Uh, it says it meets Dextron 3, and the requirements for my car, uh, for the Camry, they said either Dextron 2 or Dextron 3. So I went with the Dextron that uh, that says three here, or meets three, and is also uh, six. Something about GM and how they made uh, a lot of their the vehicles required three, but uh, worked with with uh, six. So that's what I'm going to do and see how that works. I'll be using a turkey baster uh, for getting most of the fluid out of the reservoir, and then I'll be using pliers as well to get the clamps off. All right, so I have the turkey baster, and I have a uh, oil catch here. Just gonna pop this off and start emptying the reservoir as much as I can. Uh, my goal is to empty it so it doesn't leak as much from the. Uh... Oh, that's not gonna fit. Wow, that was a bust. What I'm gonna have to do is uh, detach the line or the hose right here down to the furthest part of the, the power steering system. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of power steering fluid on the outside of the power steering pump. Um, that could be one of the seals or the uh, O-rings going bad. And I'm trying to see... Yeah, it might be one of the O-rings, so what I'm going to do is take, the, take that line off and drain it. So I just pulled the clamp up right now and uh, I'm gonna get a flathead screwdriver to try to pry this off. I'm starting to think it's the hose because when I wiggle it back and forth it drips oil. So I'm, I might um, either have to get a new hose or put a tighter clamp on it. Um, I'm gonna try to put a tighter clamp on it and flush it and see if that, that works and if it doesn't I'm gonna have to replace this hose. I'm still uh, probably gonna pull this, this off here and check the o-ring. Uh, so I just discovered that the hoses split is really old, it's like flaking, and that's most likely what's causing the leak, so I'm going to have to order the part and then uh, finish up this video. I don't know if you can see the crack right there, but it's just flaking right now. Okay, so I just pulled it off. Uh, this came out of here like that. The o-ring's kind of loose, so I'm going to replace the o-ring on this. Um, this end is a little cracked here. I don't know if that's what caused the leak, but uh, this part goes into the reservoir over here and then goes under it. Okay, and this is what I assume was leaking. As you can see, this, this is as dark as motor oil. And then this, this is empty. So, I'm gonna go get these uh, hoses replaced and put it back in. Place the o-ring and see if that works. Alright, so I have the o-ring here, and the connector, and then I also just got this hose. Uh, I got two feet of it, um, I don't really know the thickness. Uh, it's just heater hose. So, heater hose, it's 5 eighths. Um, go ahead and put the, uh, lubricate and put the o-ring on there, and then uh, slide it in. Slide it in that way, just like that. So I've got this all connected up. This just pops in. I'm gonna put a clamp on the end of this, uh, and then the bolt goes through there, tightens it in, and then uh, the other side goes up to the reservoir, which I'm gonna clamp down to. All right, so I'm going a little overboard and doing two clamps, uh, just cause I want to make sure that it has a good seal and it's not gonna crack or anything. Um, and if it does crack, it has a backup, uh, so it doesn't go all the way through. Um, I'm just using these shitty clamps, and then I took the clamps off of the old line and ran that on here too. This is just a return line, it shouldn't need this or anything like that, but uh, 
It's always better to, to double up anyway. Careful also not to crack the reservoir uh, tip coming off out of there. It's plastic, so if you put too much pressure on it, it'll break. And that should do it for now. Um, I'm gonna go connect the bottom, put the screw in, tighten it down, and uh, put some uh, fluid in there. Rotate the wheels. See where, uh, where we're at then. Okay, so I just uh, I put the hoses back on, and I put the one on below. I think I found might have found my problem. Um, it might be stripped down there, the bolt. Uh, it wouldn't tighten too much. So right now I'm filling this up, filling the reservoir up full. So it's at max right now, and then I'm gonna start the car and uh, continue turning the wheels left to right. Um, try to cycle that through. Don't be dumb like me and put the cap back on before you do this. Um, I just sprayed <laughs> it all over the place. Uh, it, but if you do happen to do that, try to get as much oil off of your paint as off of, off of the, the wires, off of as many uh, vital parts as you can because it's corrosive and it'll lead through it. So. So cap, back on. I'm actually going to fill it up again before I do this because I sprayed a lot of it up. Continues to turn uh, the steering wheel back and forth. I'm looking at this reservoir, and I'm actually going to go under there and see if um, if I can see it leaking down there. Right now, I don't see it leaking. I don't know if you can see. It's not leaking anymore, which is exactly what we wanted. Alright, go ahead and shut the car off. Checking here again. The fluid still looks clean. Which is actually kind of surprising to me. So I'm gonna keep it like that, and then um, I'll come back to it. My girlfriend has to work uh, in the next week, so. I'll probably come back to it in a few days and see if it got darker, and if it is, just I'm going to continue to flush it until it becomes clear. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Uh, I'll also do, I'll probably do a uh, engine cleaning video as well, because uh, mine is extremely dirty. So, uh, my cover is missing. I bought the car without the cover, so uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, cool. Uh, catch you next time.